Um, today' topic is for is for both men and women. Know what I mean, my homie Beverly. Know what I mean, asked me recently about how to be a good wife or whatever. I guess she was having problems with her man or whatever, and she asked me like how to be a good wife and. I was thinking about it, you know, so I said, I'm going to do a copy on a video on it. She said, do a video, so, you know, I'm going to do it. Cause, I mean, because that's a subject. Because even myself, I was asking, like, yo, what makes a good wife? What makes a good girl a good wifey? And it's a couple things, you know. One is she got to be smart, you know what I mean? A good wife got to be smart. She got to be not only book smart, street smart. She got to be street smart, too, you know what I mean? She got to know how to not get played. I don't like dumb girls. I despise dumb girls. I hate girls that just say stupid shit and whatever pops up in their head. I like girls who are smart, who know when to speak, and who know who know when not to speak, and who know exactly what to say in any situation. I like a girl, we could be in a restaurant, and somebody try to play us, we both catch on at the same time, the way they're fronting on us, so we could both not tip that motherfucker and get up out of there after we pay the bill, you know? I like a girl that knows when to be a woman and when to be a girl. That's crazy, right? When to be a woman and when to be a girl. Like a woman is, you throw the high heels on, you throw the sexy dress on, you throw your confidence on. That's another thing, B. Not only do you have to throw all your stuff on, ladies, you have to throw confidence on. A lot of men can't, they don't know how to handle a woman with confidence. And that's probably not the nigga you should be with. That's another thing. A good wife also needs a good husband. I'm going to talk about what makes a good hubby in another video. But right now we on the wifey. You know what I mean? You got to be smart. And you got to know. You know what I mean? You got to know things. I want to learn from you. A good wife, I should be able to learn from you. I should be able to to hear from you. I should be able to. You should be able to learn things from me. And I should be able to learn things from you. Another thing about a good wife is you got to be, you got to have some kind of sense of humor. I hate girls with no sense of humor. They are the worst and they will never get wife by anybody except a nigga that is, has just as less sense of humor than them. You know what I mean? You have to be able to smile. If I say something funny, even if it's not funny, laugh a little bit, be you got to stroke dude's ego sometimes. A lot of us men have the craziest egos, and we think so highly of ourselves, you know what I mean? I know I think I'm the supreme ruler, um, King Joffrey the Joe of the world, but that's me, you know what I mean? I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm really, you know, that nigga, but, you know. You got to be, you know what I mean, stroke his ego sometimes, you know what I mean? Tell him, like, he want to be the boss. Even if he work at McDonald's, <laughs> Say, baby, you the boss. <laughs> you the boss. You gonna be the boss at McDonald's one day. Whisper in his ear sometime. Now, I mean, be a girl. Some of you chicks nowadays, y'all getting too hard. Now, I mean, I know you've been with a lot of niggas who fucked you over, played you, broke your heart. Now, I mean, and all of that. But don't lose that feminine sense. Don't lose that girl inside of you. That's what I mean by being a girl. Back to that. Now, I mean, you gotta be girly sometimes. I gotta know. That I'm with a girl that sometimes when you sick, I can take care of you. And a lot of y'all girls be like, no, I'm sick. Leave me alone. I don't want to deal with nobody. Y'all get wild moody. Like yesterday, I was the moodiest person everywhere. Every, uh, like, oh, leave me alone. You know what I mean? You just, like, let that nigga, if a nigga want to take care of you and that's your man, that's your boo thing, y'all fuck with each other hard. Or even if y'all fuck with each other a little bit. And you sick and you do want somebody to take care of you, let him take care of your ass. Alright? Stop. Get off your high horse. Some of you girls need to get off your high horse and meet eye to eye, know what I mean? We can't meet eye to eye if I gotta look up to you, you know? Come down and meet you on the level. Let me put you on a pedestal. Don't come into the relationship saying I'm that bitch, I'm queen, or this or that. Let me put you on the pedestal. Let me say she is that bitch. She is my queen. Know what I mean? Some of y'all girls already be in your mind like, oh, that's why I can't be with no man. No. It's real niggas out there, you know? You just gotta, you know what I mean? Stop fucking with them lames. A lot of y'all girls fuck with so many lame niggas. 
Y'all, if y'all seen a real nigga, you don't, wouldn't know what the fuck he looked like. It'd be like a fucking ghost or some shit. Like, a real nigga? What is that? Real men are out there, and it's probably one looking for you. It's probably one that's been hollering at you. That's been, he ain't been the stalker type. He ain't been on it, but you know he on it. You know what I mean? Not saying you gotta give him a shot, ladies, but consider, just consider, you know what I mean, other option. A lot of y'all are wifey material. I know a lot of girls that are wifey material. I make jokes about a lot of girls and shit like that, but I know girls that are all wifey material and that do hold niggas down lovely. But I also know a lot of girls that are... <sighs> they be derelicting. Remember that? Derelicts. I'm old ass. No, I'm not. I'm young. I'm PYT. <laughs> but, yeah, like... Basically, I'm gonna talk more about this. This wifey thing. I like this, you know what I mean? But basically, to be a good wife, first, find a good man that you can be wifey too. That's first priority. Some of y'all be good wifeys, and it don't be you. Y'all be so fucked up. Like, wasn't I a good wife? You were a good wife. You weren't you just weren't with a good husband, know what I mean? Two, come off your high horse. Three, meet me halfway.